Hello and welcome to another one of our boot sale videos where Ooh. we talk about stuff that we've bought at the car boot. Stuff. That's yeah. Right. Stuff and so uh, I had to I had to have a big uh, bag to tote to buy this, and so I just carried it to the car, put it in the car, and then went back. Um, but um, I did. I've never bought. A <laughs> <laughs> I've never bought a kitchen sink. Here we go, a, folks. Everything uh, but everything but the kitchen sink. But I actually bought this. It's. Um, it's never been fitted, and I bought it off a guy who bought the wrong one. Now, how much would a an archetypal kitchen sink like this? I cost? know, I know how Go much. On. How much was anything? Not a fancy one. Twenty five to like forty pounds. Twenty five forty quid. Okay. How much do you think I paid for this? Go on. Well, he did have it for five at the beginning of the day. Okay. Uh, no one sells kitchen sinks at a car boot. No. <laughs> and, he, and it, then he, then he, I said, uh, well, uh, how much do you really, really want? So then he said, oh, I'll call it three quid. I'll say, I'll leave it. And then right at the end of the day, it started raining. And, he, and uh, I was walking around and I said, uh, do you want to take it home? He says, no. I said, I'll give you a quid for it. So a pound, uh, I could probably sell that on a good day. Yeah. At a car boot itself for maybe a fiver. Yep. So there we go. That's fantastic. Nice one. Okay, another big item. Okay, um, and I'm, <laughs> I, I don't normally have buy furniture, but I, I couldn't resist. Good Lord. Probably a 19, 1920s, 30s. It's a short 40s person's ladder. Bookshelf. Oh, yeah. it's a bookshelf. It's a bookshelf. Oh. And the, the bookshelves are nicely ordered, and I paid. I paid four pound fifty for this, which is a bit of a okay. bit of a strange price, but I quite like it. And I'm I'm actually I bought this for myself uh, for some of the books I bought, and uh, yeah, I really yeah. like that. So, is that a boot sale bargain? I don't know, well, but I wanted it, so I bought it. Uh, and it's, it's a good hardwood as well. That's not like a yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's not like a flat pack from yeah. IKEA or oh, something, absolutely. is it? It's it's something that not that there's anything wrong with IKEA. Nothing wrong with IKEA. Yeah. Nothing wrong with IKEA. Right. Okay. Next item. Now I didn't buy this. I've actually I've actually seen these in Hamley's toy shop in London. Okay. Okay. Um, Hamley's magic box of tricks. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I've the, got it the great down. Uh, money disappearing trick. Right. There we go. So nice, nice little thing for the kids. It's all there, and um, oh, incredible. Uh, plenty of plenty of fun for for children. Uh, quite expensive. Let's, let's be honest. It's fun for him. Well, no, no, no. I'm going to. I'm going to give this to a family member. So uh, I wouldn't have bought this to sell on because it's just impossible with the postage. Okay, but um, a nice, uh, a nice little box of tricks. Literally, a box of tricks <laughs> that would have cost maybe fifteen pounds, fourteen ninety nine in Hamleys for a quid. Can't go wrong. All right. Oh, I've just noticed this warning at the bottom. What's it say? It says choking hazard. Choking small hazard. Small parts, not for children under three years. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No, there's a lot of small pieces, so yeah. they, they've got to put that on. Uh, they've got to put that on boxes just to cover themselves, haven't they? You're going to be playing with this later, aren't you? Uh, no, but it's going to make a good little present. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I bought this. I made a little mistake. I thought that it was. Uh, I thought it was worth buying, but it turned out to be a, like a book club edition, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Oh, very popular. And uh, I, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't realise that it was um, uh, a book club edition. I just had a look, and they're, they're nice. I like to buy books that have nice, that are nicely illustrated and mm. nice and clean and that. Yeah. And uh, this is from the the Heirloom Library in London, so uh, uh, not 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 uh, not worth collecting. But nevertheless, in my opinion, that is drawings by Geoffrey Whitton. That's what attracted me mm -hmm. uh, att attracted me to it. And it's it's actually got some fantastic ones. Um, it's a ten p, ten p for the book, and uh, lots of coloured coloured illustrations. Really, really nice, but not collectible. Yeah. Not collectible for me, anyway. Um, I'm probably going to keep this as a reading book for younger children in my family because mm -hmm. the illustrations are quite evocative and that. And yeah. Ten p, you can't go wrong with that. No. So I still, so even though I'm not going to sell it, it's still a uh, boot sale bargain for yep. me. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. next item. Yeah. 
Seeing as we're uh, still on the art theme, um, ooh, what you got there? Okay, uh, an original sort of fairly naive painting by an unknown artist. Uh, this was done on, I like this, the Art Students Academy Board Prepared for Oil Painting da, 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 and Sons Limited, London, England. Okay. Um, this was painted in 1948. If you can go by the the signature at the bottom, um, nice little scene. Not not worth anything really. I wouldn't have thought, but you never know. Um, I think I'll probably put this. I I like it, but I don't like it that much. So I'm going to put it back on a car boot for say a couple of pounds. I paid fifty p for it, so Ooh. I'll quadruple my money. Yeah. Know? So it's uh, a lovely piece. I like that. Yeah, I like I that. Love that. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. And, uh, how are we doing? Oh, we're doing How are we doing? We're doing fine. We're doing well, so. Oh, okay, right. So, okay, this is obviously not an original Lowry, okay? Um, it's like a riverside scene. Uh, it, is a, it is a print by Woodville Studios, and they do a, they do a clever thing where they brush, uh, they brush the, uh, the, 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 the brush the surface of the print yeah. to give it some texture to make it look like a, an oil painting. Um, mm. But nevertheless, nevertheless, it's actually a, um, quite a nice frame, and uh, it looks, it looks, you know, looks really nice. And on this particular case, there are people, even though there's a sort of gouge mark there, like a comet going across the sky. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it actually, it actually uh, would look nice uh, in someone's well, We could just keep it so, hanged up in our uh, studio, here, couldn't we? Yeah, there's a guy, there's a guy who exclusively does Lowry fakes, and he, he, he's not trying to pull the wool over people's eyes, he actually does them, I forget his name, but yeah. for, for Lowry copies, he charges 3,000, excuse me, he charges 3,000 pounds. Um, it's not. This isn't in that league, but sure. it's it's a nice piece, a little bit tatty. But um, I paid. Um, uh, what did I pay for it? One pound. One pound. I paid a pound for it. Okay. So uh, this is going into a into an uh, an antique yeah. stroke vintage shop. I know. And uh, we'll probably go to. He's going to sell it for me on commission. Fair enough. All right. Excellent. Um, finally, have we got time for another one. Yeah, we did. Yes, we have. Okay. Um, right. Nineteen fifties magazine rack. Can't, <laughs> can't say any more than that. My grandparents paid, had one of these. Paid twenty p for it. Um, twenty p. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Um, can't go wrong, really, for twenty p. Fairly good, Nick. Yeah, some people really like this sort of yeah. era, so um, it's quite a nice quite a thing. Niche. I yeah. think it, I think it's 19, uh, 1950s. I may be wrong. Might be nineteen seventies. Who knows? But um, there we go. Cool. A twenty p of loveliness. Well, we've got time um, for one more. Have we got time for one more? Yes, one more. Okay. This is not for eBay or Amazon or anything else. But I just thought for ten p, fantastic. It's a, it's a dinosaur stenciling book, and basically you've got all these dinosaurs, and there's an example, and you effectively put your put your A4 piece of paper under there, oh, and, then, and then you staple it, to, uh, and, then, and then you stencil it. Fantastic. Yeah. So these are very expensive, relatively speaking. Yeah. $12.99 in the shops, and this one is nice, it's not been scribbled in, and there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, there's there's a, a really it's a really good idea to pick up this sort of thing mm. very very cheaply at boot sales for yep. the kids. Um, bookshops wouldn't want me to say that, but what a fantastic find! Yeah, that's really good. There we go. All wow. right, um, that's it uh, for today. Yes. And uh, well, um, we hope you've enjoyed our looking at what we've bought at the the local boot sale. Oh, see you now. next time.